and welcome everyone to another episode of Friday Beer Reviews. I'm Kenny. Today I got a medium interesting beer, but maybe a little bit more interesting than I originally perceived. This is, oh, that is a tough one to open. This is Gold Cliff IPA by Kona Brewing Company. Now, everyone I think at this point probably knows Kona Brewing, and you probably know that I really am a big fan of their uh, Big Wave IPA because, pardon, it's a Big Wave. Big wave, yeah. It's not an APA. This one's an APA. Uh, because it's kind of an alternative to your, you know, typical light beers and whatnot. So, and it's really tasty, I think, tasty light beer. So, I got a sampler pack of this stuff, and I was like, well, let's try some other stuff that they offer. Because I don't think I've done them on my channel before. Gold Cliff IPA. So now, while this one does feature some uh, pretty impressive hops, we got Mosaic, Chinook, Topaz, and Citra. This is some pretty standard, but Mosaic I absolutely love, Citra I love, Chinook, I'm not super familiar with their taste profile, but and Topaz I'm not, but this one has a nice kind of like tropical pineapple smell to it right off the bat. Got kind of this caramely, slightly resiny kind of flavor, um, and but yeah, this really beautiful gold color. Obviously, you can see a little bit, maybe not, maybe not the best. But yeah, this is a. I actually kind of dig this one. Now, ooh, it's finishing a little bit bitter. Um, what I find most interesting about this is reading the little stuff on the back of the can here. What's blew me away is at 7.2% alcohol by volume, we get 88 calories. What? In an IPA? What? How? How did you do this? I'm used to most of my IPAs being well over 100, even sneaking up into the 200s. Um, I don't know if it's... I, I, I might have to do some more research. Like I said in previous videos, there's not a whole lot of like nutritional information on beers so much as there is seltzers and stuff. So this is kind of interesting. Um, 6.5 carbohydrates, which I think is probably a little bit high. Uh, especially if you're gonna have a few of them and then one gram of protein. All right, we're getting jacked you guys. All right um, And in a muscular sense not a, well, let's drink a beer too oh. I kind of dig this one honestly like From what I was reading it doesn't have like the highest praise out there. It's kind of an average kind of uh, review reviewed beer, but Honestly, for my palate, my taste buds, like, I don't hate this at all. Like, it, it's drinking like, a, you know, typical IPA. You get kind of the dryness, the resininess, the little bit of bitterness towards the end that kind of sits on the back of your palate there. And But it has this nice, like, like kind of subtle sweetness and, and a little bit of carameliness up front with a little bit of pineapple and, uh, you know, maybe a little... Maybe a little bit of like apricot and uh, grapefruitishness to it, but overall, this is not like bad at all. And if you're if you are calorie conscious, maybe this is something you want to you know experiment with. I mean, maybe it's not a beer that you want to put down like a bunch of them in a row or something like that. It's not a sport drinking one, as most IPAs are not. But at 7.2%, I mean, you're gonna have a good time with this one. Like, and as cold as this one is in Minnesota again, it's March. And we're single digits again, so yay! Uh, mm. Honestly, I kind of like this one. Like, I, I'd get this one again. Yeah, I don't know. It says ale brewed with pineapple and other natural flavors. That's kind of cool. That's probably why I'm getting more uh, pineapple-y flavors out of it. It's kind of, it's kind of more pronounced, I guess, the pineapple-ness a little bit than, you know, than it would be on its, if it wasn't in there maybe, but yeah, I, I don't know. That 88 calories really shocked me. I was kind of taken aback by that, obviously, but honestly, this is a, a damn tasty IPA by itself. Like, I actually enjoy it. Like, I'd get it again. It's not gonna, like, there's plenty of other IPAs I'd go for before this one, you know, but again, like, I don't know. This one's, there's nothing wrong with it. The variety pack is reasonable, so it's a good one if, you know, to bring over, you know, like you're going over to the friends for the weekend or something like that, and they're having a party or something like that, and you just want to bring something to something different to than your Coors Lights or your Miller Lights or your Buds, you know, just to, to share. 
that's not gonna break the bank, you know, like instead of a six pack, like, hey man, I bought 24 damn beers. It's pretty sweet. I dig it. Like, this is a variety pack I would definitely buy again and put in my fridge. It came with a couple, uh, a longboard logger and it came with the Kona Big Wave, which is kind of a classic. Everyone knows that one. So people probably reach for that one and you can probably have a couple IPAs yourself that are lower calorie, but still a decent ABV. Wow. absolutely dig it guys i dig it very unique i would definitely get this one again like that 88 calories just kind of shocks me but whatever it is what it is like it's cool like it's different i welcome it bring it on let's try something different you guys uh well i think that's gonna wrap this guy up for me um you guys thank you so much for hanging out to the end of the video you did i'm trying to you know spice things up as much as i can and do as much unique stuff on the channel for you to keep things entertaining hopefully it still is leave a like if you enjoy it leave a comment if you want to otherwise share and subscribe if you haven't already uh, you know it's good to have you hanging out with me though so cheers to all y'all uh be well and uh stay thirsty my friends <laughs> mm.